This is about less me, more we. This is about right relationships, reframing the healthcare debate, getting beyond our politics and our differences, and creating a shared vision, a shared story for what it takes to build healthier communities. This is about resurrecting people out of the ashes of poor health. This is about our Bon Secours St. Francis Healthy Community Initiative, the Sterling Phoenix League, where it is our mission to be good help to those in need, starting with people before programs. Our healthy community framework contains a multitude of components, central of which is a community that must be engaged and empowered. An ongoing dialogue in collaboration with our efforts. There must be a common vision that drives the process. This is what we've started in July of 2008 in the Sterling community. But to better understand our efforts in Sterling, we must better understand Sterling herself. This is a historic community in Greenville, South Carolina, started by a man named Daniel Minus in 1896. He started an educational institution named after the woman who funded his education. Her name was Mrs. E.R. Sterling. Sterling High School quickly became one of the premier black high schools, not just in South Carolina, but throughout the United States. It was not only a vibrant high school, but it was surrounded by a vibrant, healthy community. However, in 1967, the school burnt down and that history, that legacy, was tragically lost. It plunged Sterling and the community into a steady decline into decay and blight and poor health. Since then, many have tried to connect the dots asking why are people in poor health? Is it just related to health and wellness or is it much broader related to issues with housing, infrastructure, economic development, safety, engagement, relationships to the environment? What is clear is that there needed to be a comprehensive, holistic strategy linking all these pieces together. And in response, thus was born the Sterling Phoenix League in November 2008, with the mission of resurrecting the people in this community out of the ashes of poor health, recognizing that not one agency or organization could do it on its own, but a league of people is needed, a league of collaborators, stakeholders, residents to come together to brainstorm how to connect all these dots together and have a comprehensive strategy of building a healthier community. The vision starts with building the capacity of people that allows for them to pursue healthier options. In Sterling's case, this vision is guided by the Sterling Phoenix League. Our efforts are to build capacity to engage the spirit and the psychology of people, to improve infrastructure and remove blight, and to organize grassroots leadership so they can be actualized to become healthier all on their own. The Sterling Phoenix League is an inclusive process, leveraging diversity in unique ways developing people, infrastructure, and organizational processes. Inspired by the local history of Sterling and its people, a team-based framework with a micro and macro level focus. Having us relate to each other in innovative and creative ways, seeking to build healthier options and healthier solutions. At the heart of our work in Sterling is a vision and our relationships is a process that integrates ideas, people, and resources, builds capacity, engagement, and inclusion, improves upon programs, policy, and environments, weaves healthcare across multiple paradigms, and allows for a healthier community. That is the goal. So why this process? And why Bon Secours St. Francis? Three simple reasons. There is a national movement to redefine and reform healthcare. Many healthcare institutions and government bodies are discovering 
the cost-saving benefits of a more holistic, comprehensive prevention model. Secondly, this is part of our identity strategically and as a mission-oriented healthcare institution and health system. And thirdly, when you build capacity relationships that lead to further commitment and engagement, you allow for follow-through of healthier behaviors and lifestyles. So what can you expect going forward in Sterling and in Sterling's future? The Sterling Phoenix League is collaborative by design, with engagement being the byproduct where community input and feedback loops keep the process creative, where we push for innovation with ideas such as the Sterling Master Plan, which will be a comprehensive revitalization plan led by our health system. Sterling Greenway Trails, which will promote walkability and physical activity in Sterling, and the triple aim process being piloted at Michelin USA in Greenville will be targeted for the health and clinical focus in Sterling. Sterling will become a model of grassroots engagement, strategic partnerships, and a healthy community process. Bon Secours, St. Francis, Sterling, and Greenville have this historic opportunity to redefine our relationships, to get beyond our differences, beyond our politics, and truly build a healthier community. Sterling, is just the beginning.